Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing Victor Midlane versus Aione. Or wait, oh yeah we are. Damn it dude, I don't have armor. Anyways, uh, playing Victor against Aione. These are the runes I'm taking this game. Some people like going first strike on Victor, especially inside of matchups where it feels like you can't really win because uh, their champion just is so much better during the early game than yours that it's hard to pull off even with Aerie. So you can go for a scaling rune where you get money over time making it so you have that extreme power spike at like three items where Victor can basically 1v9. So that's where we're going for this game. Um, and yeah. Oh man, getting the auto attack off is literally the most important thing, but unfortunately I was just barely out of range there. What we're going to be doing is trying to abuse our uh, uh, range advantage early. <gasps> well, I somehow auto attacked a creep. I actually don't know how I even right like that. To be honest, it seemed like I was right on top of him, but oh well. Q is still like decent poke. You can see that it's actually sticking quite hard, uh, even though he has that Doran shield, so... We can also start fishing for a little bit of auto attacks because he does step up quite often as well. So, a little bit of poke damage there. He's going to reach level 2 before me, but we can still get some uh, pretty decent trades against him. So, he's going to Q, so we'll just back away. Don't want to get hit by that. Trying to keep the wave here, I'll actually shield some of the damage because the, the caster minions do hurt early on quite a bit, so not really interested in getting hit by that the whole entire time. Uh, make sure you don't get it by his W, because uh, his W gives him a bigger shield if you get hit, and it damages yourself. So I'm trying to stay at like the perfect range where he can't hit me with the shield, and we can just continue poking him down. But also, you don't want to mess up the creeps too much. I'm trying to make it so it's not, but it's not the easiest to do on Victor. Because if you're harassing all the time, obviously uh, the creep wave can get Really, really screwed up. We're even CS, but he has no potion left. And he just used his E plus his W to try to stop me. Uh, or try to harass me. So. He wants to make it so I lose my first strike and also try to whittle me down himself. The wave is not exactly in the best spot for him, so he's quite uncomfortable right now. Use Q plus my E there for a little bit of a trade. Overall, we definitely want to create a slow push and then to uh, just reset. So if anything, let's try to just... Let's continue trading with autos. I'm trying to make it so he doesn't touch the wave. So then the wave will automatically start shoving towards him pretty easily. But the problem is I'm like getting ganked or something. Zack is around mid. What I really need is my wave to be fixed because I actually don't have TP in this matchup. I have Ghost. I'm actually going to just stick around. It's fine. I have my Vi nearby, so I feel pretty safe right now. Although I maybe could have killed him. Holy crap, that was actually really well played. My bad, dude. I Well, I didn't know her damage was going to be so high. <laughs> Jeez. Actually almost killed on her own. I'll just die. What's funny is that I can get executed because this Hecarim's looping on me and we see him. And I knew my E damage, because he's level 4, this is important, I had to commit right away. Because he was about to level up off this wave. I know he was about to level up, so we have to commit as fast as we can. I was hesitating a little bit, and I was like, okay, I just need to go. Because if, if I don't, uh, he will level up, and then when I flash for him, he'll get base HP and live. So I had to do it when he was still level 4. This is a lost fight, please don't. This is not a winnable fight, please no. Okay, actually he just used his flash, so... Wow, I'm surprised that he <laughs> did that. Okay, cool. I mean, him not having flash is huge. I like level 2 boots on Victor, especially for stuff that uh, is very easy at ganking me. I'm not interested in dying to Hecarim, so that's the reason for going this. 
It is going to make us, like, you know, run out of mana a little bit. But overall, we should be okay. Plus, I'm almost level 6, and we can maybe look for an all-in play, because now he has no flash. If I can land stun on him, he'll literally just die. Because Victor has crazy high damage on his ultimate, because it's consistent damage. So if you can keep them just somewhat near you, which I probably can, because I have these boots, right? Um then you're extremely, extremely powerful at 1v1-ing people. Nice E. Get a little bit of first strike gold. Okay, now he's level 6, so he can just ulti out if I ever jump on him. So, the only reason why I said that I could even fight him early on was, uh... Okay, there we go. Landed our Q. A little bit of poke damage. We have to be a little bit afraid of Hecarim, so I'm backing up every time to see if if I play a bit further back, it's much harder for him to actually jump on me. Once again, he used his E. I should be okay here. He's literally 1 HP 2, and I have Vi around too. So she might be able to get him, possibly. Maybe not. Oh, I might die. Damn, dude. I guess I messed it up. And she dies too! Yeah, I mean, Yoni has E, so he's just running in a straight line at me. I, I don't have a counterplay, right? Oh, and he gets another kill too. Well, there's a problem with ha being a mana champion. I didn't have mana. I only had enough mana for my Q. Also, I thought Vi was popping off, but she actually has... She was 0-1. Why did I think she was doing... I mean, because she came in and did so much for me, but then, in reality, I guess, uh... Something happened, bot side where she must have died. Anyways, that's going to be a major setback for us. It's crazy how one tiny misplay always puts you this far behind, but that's just the nature of playing inside of high elo, so... I did good during the gank, made sure that I survived, got Hecarim uh, wasting time because I didn't die to it, but then it was all thrown away only because I came back in, which gave Hecarim level 6 because I died. Otherwise, Vi would have never died either, so... Basically, it's all because I went back in. It's very sad. Nice kill bot, that's super sick. Oh, nice knockback. I don't think we kill though. Oh wait, maybe. Nice. I don't know where Hecarim is, but I mean, if he jumped on me, it's whatever. I think that it's worth my time running down. I had no idea where he was, so there was a risk there of like being engaged on by him, but I didn't care. I wanted to make sure that we got that kill. Jeez, I actually dodge every single one of this guy's W. Like, I'm right at the outskirts. It's pretty nice. He's gonna take a tower shot, but... I mean... Okay, I guess he just tried diving me. That probably would've killed me. So, I'm glad that I didn't get hit by that, because that could've ended up really, really bad really fast. I'm afraid of Hecarim ganking me. Yeah, I don't even have enough mana for ult. Just leave, please. I'm completely out of mana. W with that W, at least. This guy is killable if I just had enough mana for it. Just that Victor's costs are so damn high. There's a chance I get dove because I have no mana, so it uh, makes it a bit easier to get people like me, because... I don't have a way to defend myself under tower if Hecarim came behind me with Yone from the front. Hecarim just tanks the tower. Anyways, we got that Zactyl bot. That's going to be really good to uh, finally make it so we won't have mana issues anymore. I think it's a very, very, very good crown game. So I think I'm going to be going for that. The reason why it's a good crown game... 
Oh my god, dude. Nice try. That was actually so close. Is because they only have a couple champions to like defend against or uh get the shield from the crown, which is the Ezreal. That's about it. Um or like I guess Yone can use his E and stuff. But the thing is that it's gonna make it so Gragas, Hecarim, if they ever catch me and just jump on me. The crown is going to have extreme value of keeping myself safe, where they can't just burst me down. They're going to have to pop the crown to kill me, and that's not very easy to do with their champions. So, I think it's going to be really strong in this game. Good trade there for us. I put down the uh, gravity field to try to stun him because he was trying to play pretty aggressive. Oh my god, dude, that... If she somehow got in front of that... Dude, I just wanted the assist, fuck. Is this guy worth the shutdown? He is. I actually have a stopwatch, believe it or not. Okay, so he's just gonna die to tower, right? That's his plan? Executed. Kind of a bummer. I wish that we got the kill. But overall, not bad. Oh, nice. Even the uh, Garen, who was 0 2 top, managed to get the Yone, who lost his ultimate earlier to the Vi. Pretty big. That's a uh, top lane, so that's Gragas. He'll probably kill somebody here. I'm sure that not all of them will die, though. This guy's probably dead 100%. Uh, it might be defendable. This guy might overcommit, and I'm already coming, possibly. Maybe not. He's trying to beat them. It's like, kind of funny. He's dead. I knew where Gragas was. Your E also gives vision, so I was trying to get him, but... You can even check brushes like that. Just make sure that you're not getting caught out. You know, we'll take a kill. It actually took so long to kill that Zac, but... It's whatever. We actually already made 300 gold, so that's pretty nice. That's worth one kill. With our first strike. Yone versus Garen, I think is Garen favored, believe it or not, because you can silence and then just spin on him and it deals like as much damage as Yone. Maybe once Yone builds crit though, it can become a little bit harder. There's a chance that also they get ganked. No, there's no chance actually. Yone's gonna maybe use his ultimate out? No. I think I just saw him use his ult, so free kill there. We just saw Hecarim and Gragas bot side on this vision control, so I'm like, alright. We we know that he's bot side, so there's no chance of Yone actually uh fighting top and he's like trying to bait for his team because we know where everybody is i didn't want to lose my crown but here we are there is a vi nearby though nice ultimate and another ultimate to layer it so he should just die here okay i got him pretty big the hecarim is uh kind of popping off i'm gonna die too but i mean Whatever. I don't think I had a way out to flash. I missed my E as well. Not sure if you noticed, but that's the reason why that went really bad. If I just didn't miss my E, honestly, we probably would have been okay. So, I think I made a mistake there that maybe could have saved it. Uh, Zhonya's was, quote, nerfed, where they made it so it's more expensive now. And also, Stopwatch is more expensive, but uh, this gives more AP. So... I mean, it's a nerf because it's gonna set you back on other items, but I still think it's an extremely important purchase. Uh... Or strong purchase on any mage. So I'm still going to just go for a second item. I, I honestly think that Victor already deals a lot with like just base damages overall. I just want to be level 11 so we have level 2 ultimate. It's going to be very strong. Rift Herald is up and I'm going bot side because Garen's top. But this might mean that they can easily do the... The Rift Herald because of that. Just put down vision control before going into lane. I lost my, uh, my thing. Oh well. 
facing this guy is actually kind of hard because he's uh, difficult to poke out because he has a passive that heals him whenever he uses an ability. And also, he has really good lockdown versus players that are immobile like me, who doesn't doesn't have a dash. So he can actually just body slam towards me, use Everfrost, and then use ultimate to like knock me into his team if I was to get ganked. I'm just halfway rotating topside because I didn't know if maybe Gragas would TP to try to kill them, and I'm just trying to make uh it so I would be able to rotate to help, if anything. Hey, my thing came back up at the perfect time, so I actually didn't really deal that much damage. My crown defended from that Q. I still want it to be up though, because like let's say Hecarim comes down to dive me. The reason why Hecarim even would ever consider diving is because they just lost topside. So if your teammates just died topside, and we might be on Rift Herald because now we have numbers advantage. Do you want to go there when you have numbers disadvantage because your teammates just died? Of course not. You go towards the lane that has the single person down bot, me, and just try to dive them. Now, that would be the play, right? Um, so. Or just also be on this side to do this. But I honestly don't even know if we can defend this. It might be kind of difficult. I also have 2,000 gold as well, so. Wow, that was a pretty nice uh, hook. I don't think we can defend, right? Oh, maybe we can. We, we can fight after. We can fight after. Because the Yone is top, right? Okay, I'm going to flash the Hecarim. got him. I flashed the Hecarim ultimate there, so it actually didn't hit me. I'm, like, completely out of mana, so I'm out, though, because there's somebody that just ported behind us. That was the Zach. Oh, the Zach's port, actually. It's actually not even that strong. Oh, man, this Garen's going fucking hard, dude. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Chasing an Ezreal obviously is not worth, because he can just continue throwing down those Qs, and if he lands any of them on me, it's really bad. But we did good, because we managed to throw down all of our abilities on important targets like Gragas and Hecarim, and also dodge his ultimate as well. That could have been really bad if I got hit by that, because it might have feared me long enough that he could get me. The thing is with dodging that Hecarim ultimate, is that after he uses his ultimate, and let's say I flash away and create distance, Hecarim realistically can never jump on me for the rest of the fight. Because he just used his ability. Right? You need to be thinking about... not uh, It's not something to think about, it's just with experience, but like, Hecarim takes Ghost, and he has basically one quote, dash. He has his E that he probably used recently, because... I don't know, he probably used it at the beginning of the fight, but after he uses his ultimate, and if it misses, or if I dodge it, it's done. He, he has no other way to actually get on top of me anymore, so that's why I could walk back in and not be scared anymore. Similar to if Gragas ever body slams towards us and misses, that gives me an opportunity to trade versus him as well. Or if Yone misses his E. Or his Q, I mean. His Q3, where he can move forward. Wait, did she actually get an auto attack off on that guy? What the hell? Okay, so I have a crown... And I have Stopwatch. So theoretically, even though I go side lane, I also have Q Evolve. Once you finish evolving everything on Victor, you are an absolute god because you get movement speed from just spamming your Q. And you can kite people because it feels like it's as strong as Ghost, if not stronger than Ghost. So it's ridiculous, basically. I was hoping maybe I could like get a little bit of poke off, but... Uh, we just saw Yoni use his ultimate, right? So that's down. I guess I could have stayed top. This is one of the problems with taking Ghost. Y you will be able to kite people in team fights and have a god of a time where you can just not get caught and you can kill anybody. But if I go side lane and my team's fighting, I can't join in immediately with TP. Like that's that's one of the strengths of using TP. You can just join in at any point. See how I always have this crown though? This is exactly what I'm talking about. They actually have no way to pop it. Unless I'm fighting like Ezreal. I could probably beat Yone 1v1 if he does go side lane, but I'm just wondering if he's going to. Now I'm going to group. It's better. Now that we at least killed a couple of them, even though Yone's still pushing, I think that we can still win this fight because they're still going hard. I'm just going to pop Ghost here. Put the gravity field down. Oh, nice. Snared right into it. Huge. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna base to defend against. I'm sorry that I couldn't get the Hecarim. I, I saw that he was super low too, but it's all right. I'm gonna go by my Lich Bean. Lich Bean is actually super powerful on Victor because your Q auto attack already deals like 60%. So with this, uh, this has like a 50% AP ratio. So you actually deal more than a 1.0 AP ratio. Meaning that if you have high AP, you will... I got it. <laughs> uh, you will be able to fight like anybody. Because every single Q deals about, as you can see, 700 damage on a short cooldown all the time. And what's kind of nice is it gives movement speed. So this gives base movement speed, so I'm fast. I'm really fast. Pair that with the Q movement speed and... Dude, I actually really need that. That's actually really, really, really bad. She didn't mean to, though. I, I, uh, I messed up. I didn't need help, and honestly, I get triggered at junglers who try to help people who literally two-shot it. Like, I only need two spell rotations, but... I don't know. They were just trying to help out. The thing is, now I'm gonna have a harder time fighting this, because I'm just so out of mana. Once again, we have Crown, in case they jump on us. We definitely want to do this dragon, because it's actually their third dragon, so if they get it, it's really bad, because they'll get closer to Soul. Oh, he stunned himself. Hmm. He's dead. If I had mana, I could fight this guy, but I don't. Really tragic. I killed the Hecarim, even though he's super tanky, even and I don't even have a Void Staff just because I have my Lich Bane dealing so much. He did 600 damage in a single fight. They might immediately go to Baron. The issue is, like, Hecarim is just jumping on our backline, and we actually have no realistic way of killing him. So maybe we just have to ignore our own uh, backline and not help the MF and just only go for their backline. Because I can kill their backline very easily. Okay, cool. They didn't start that. That's good. We still have, like, overlying issues, though. Like, me not being able to kill their frontline faster than ours, so... It's creating problems. If we make it to extremely, extremely, extremely late game, it's definitely so easy to win. But I don't know how easy we can make it there. Wow, this could be a huge play here. The thing is that even though they lost their teammates, sometimes enemies will continue fighting for some reason when they shouldn't be, so this could turn out really good. I'm just going to wait for the Yoni to go back here, so then we can just kill him. So he used his clone there, so we saw where he... Or his clone? What? He, he, we saw his little snapback portion, so I popped Ghost. I wanted to make sure that they all died. It's really important that we win these uh, team fights when Baron are up, because if we do win the team fight, we just automatically can get Baron, right? Every single time. If you overwhelmingly win a fight, and that was really good. Vi was waiting inside of a brush, Ezreal got caught out, died. And then the enemy team decided to fight rather than just... Uh, if they if there was macro play, it, <coughs> this is really hard to pull off. Even inside of high elo, it's not going to probably work. But, um... They need to just let us start the Baron and then go in for a 50-50 steal. That's it. That's all you have to do. But instead, they fought us. So they just automatically lose because Ezreal is one of the important players of their team. He has nine kills. Um, but the thing is about macro and trying to learn macro and thinking about what the best possible choice is, it's that stuff like only really matters inside of like competitive play because inside a solo queue you can't tell people what to do normally because some person will make a mistake like as an example it looks like gragas jumped on us here and now gragas jumped in when he shouldn't but are you just gonna leave him to die or are you gonna go follow up his play normally people will just follow up his play inside a halo because it's like you know what if he sees something maybe we can go and help Maybe. I have Void Staff now. Absolutely massive purchase to make it so I actually kind of deal with this Hecarim a little bit easier. Even though, like, nobody else has magic resist besides this Hecarim, it's actually pretty cost effective. Don't worry about... I'm just going to use my ultimate auto attack here. 
Dude, I'm, I, I don't need my crown popped. <laughs> okay, that should be game. I think that's game. Nice engage by Vi. Oh, couldn't hit him there. Okay, I lose my crown. I hit him with an auto attack there. You saw that did 600 damage. We just want to leave, right? There's no chance that we can do anything here. Okay, cool. They didn't get stopped from taking that. That could have been really bad really fast. My ultimate's also on a pretty low cooldown, so thankfully it's going to be up for the next dragon, too. Uh, I'm going to just do my blue buff for now to make sure so we have it for next fight. Level 16 is really important, but I really doubt that we're going to get it. Even if I, like, do Wolves and take Midwave, I think this isn't enough, but who knows. Dude, I wish. Alright, I'm just gonna buy. Screw it. This is, like, one of the most important fights in the entire game, because if we do win it, um... If they win, they get the soul. That's, like, really difficult to win, even if we are currently winning. Um... So we need to make sure we win this fight. The reason for building a Medjai's is because of the movement speed. That is it. So because I have movement speed, I'm hoping that the movement speed will make it so I have an easier time juking with Ghost and never get hit by like skill shots and stuff. I'm just gonna put this down here to try to zone. I might instantly die before I can even, like, press my buttons. Dude, that's so sad, man. It's just so depressing that I actually got hit by one Yone hit, and I just instantly die. Okay, well, everybody's gonna die here and we lose it. I accidentally misplay by getting hit by one ability, but I get CC'd for, uh, like, I get bounce housed. I actually blocked so much damage there. If I didn't have crown, I would have instantly died. I'm lucky that I even got my ultimate off before I could use my Zhonyas. We just needed to let them walk into us. I honestly think walking into us is better than whatever happened. I know that there was like Yoni, Ezreal, and Hecarim here. And then on this side, there was like a weird fight going on that just seemed like it didn't work out. I, don't, I have no idea what was happening. Garen spawned first, so I don't know if he was fighting and died. Because I think it wasn't a 5v5. I swear one of our teammates died somehow. I was so close to killing the Ezreal, I was hoping my Lich Bane auto attack plus Q would finish him off because he was like half HP and victor damage is ridiculous. But also my ultimate wasn't 16 when I used it there. I think I leveled up inside the middle of the fight or something. Okay, so now the game is ridiculously hard. Plus, I use this Medjai's and it has no stacks anymore, so I just lost a bunch of AP as well, which really blows. I'm gonna go buy a blue pot. This is once again gonna set me uh, a little bit further behind, but... What matters is having this... Well, I'm forced that my teammates didn't wait for me, so everybody's gonna die. I'm actually such a fucking strong champion right now. As you can see, my damage is through the roof. I'm okay uh, going into numbers disadvantage fights. The Yone also went mid. Uh, I was paying attention to that. If Yone didn't go mid, I would feel a little bit more scared doing what I did, but they walked straight in. I knew he had Zhonya's too, but thankfully he didn't use it before getting stunned, so we almost got him. It was so damn close. My ultimate now is on a 50 second cooldown because it lowered because it leveled up. So, if we can defend this... Really nice. I don't have anything to buy. I don't really have anything to do. Killing Yone is hard because he has a lot of life steal GA and also he has HP from like Randuins and stuff. Uh, 
It's a hard game also because MF ulti is hard to pull off versus their team. They have a lot of uh, things that actually stop the MF ult. Like, Zac can jump on her. Oh, this is a huge fight. Dude, this Ezreal keeps getting caught out. Thank God, man. That's so big. I have Ghost still, but I don't know if we're going to... Oh, nice. This guy has no Zonis. He used it earlier. It's actually a pretty long cooldown of like two minutes. That just gave me 94 gold. How much gold have I got in this game? Almost a thousand. Not bad. This is gonna be interesting. The Oni might immediately engage. We have Crown. Oh, I thought that maybe he was not out. Okay, he's just dead. Nice. Uh, just wait, just be patient. We don't need... Uh, okay. Uh, the thing is that we have another wave coming in, so that's why the tower is dealing so much damage to us right now. Just end. Ignore everything and end. We use Lich Bean as well. Lich Bean. Nice. GG. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary. A bit of a more educational commentary in terms of, like, high elo. I definitely didn't go over the small, itty-gritty stuff of, like, laning phase and stuff, but it's harder to go over that stuff when... I'm playing inside of high reload because I need to focus on other things like my own lane and things. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary nonetheless. If you guys did enjoy it, learn anything, or uh, it was fun to watch, be sure to give me a like on the video. It really helps me out growing. Um, basically, views directly correlate with how many likes I get based off of what I see at least. So if you guys do enjoy my content and you want to help me out, just give me a like. Uh, it's completely free and uh, it helps me a lot. So thanks for watching again, guys. Pretty solid victor gameplay. It looks like we got about a thousand gold that game, so pretty happy about that. And I will see you guys inside the next commentary. I think this guy actually plays Yone a lot too. No? Oh, he doesn't. Okay. What? This guy's name seems very, very familiar. The guy doesn't even play Yone mid. Oh, huh. I don't know. Well, take it as you wish. Maybe I just won only because he was auto filled. <laughs> so thanks for watching again. Uh, have a good day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.